hurt and pain. Anger. These are the results or the consequence of emotion. Sadness. Happiness. Lust. These are emotions. And when we get caught up in emotion, it does not allow proper thinking. Emotion does not allow us to think properly. So the church, because the preacher really don't want you to think, you go to church and you sing and you dance and he tells you feel good stories, making you emotion, emotional. So that when the bucket, the plate, pass up and down the aisle, you would give your dimes and your dollars, and you're not tripping on what are you really getting for your hard-earned dimes and dollars. In the black conscious, Pan-African, blackity black community. It is about feeding emotion, selling you a narrative because you are angry, because you are mad. The Nation of Islam, the UNIA, in the 1930s. Noble Jew Ali and a lot of these others of whom we don't really speak a lot about Father Divine it is about emotion they sell you emotion and you're listening to a message you hear but you really don't hear They fill us with emotion. And your emotion is justified. Because they are telling you about your oppression. And you become emotional because you want to get out of slavery. You want to get out of the oppression. Now, mind you, this is 2022, and you feel like something has changed, but we know it has not changed. But somebody made us emotional way back in 1930. And we repeat the same emotional narrative that did not free those in 1930 and the same emotional content is not free it's not bringing you liberation or freedom in 2022 but you feel good by singing to Jesus clapping your hands stumping your feet all praises due to Allah for the honor of Elijah Muhammad Black Power Hotel. Emotion causes us not to have proper thinking. One of the things that emotion does not allow us to study is we complain about oppression but then we turn around and want to be like the ones that we complain about 
There are people when they were children they were abused by a pedophile. And then they themselves turned into a pedophile. They were raped and turned into a rapist. Somebody stole from them and they become a thief. We must be careful getting caught up in our emotion over our oppression least we become like the ones we complain about and you hear this when the black man rule we're going to kill the white people you hear them say this I am not a defense attorney for white people or Mexicans or Chinese but I am going to suggest to, to us you're complaining and you want to become what you complain about that makes no sense you're going to complain or you want to become what you complain about. And if you ever get to that point. You're going to suffer the same consequences. The same rebellion. Sooner or later. As the one that you complained about. Because you're unjust. You're not fair. You want to kill white people. Simply because they white. That's not fair. That's not just. Nobody didn't do nothing to you. I saw a pack of dogs. Or this story. There was a pack of dogs. And. Two of the dogs. Actually committed the crime. Of biting. And killing this child. They know this. It was a pack of dogs. About seven animals. And it was, in fact, it was a little black boy. And these animals, this pack of dogs, these particular two, they know. It was these two that actually killed the child. The other was just part of the pack. They killed all the dogs. That's not fair. That's not just. When these two that we know committed the, the crime, killed this child. But they killed all of them. And this is the mindset that you have. That's not fair. That's not just. Why couldn't they kill the dogs that actually they know did the crime and do something with the other ones? So you're not fair, you're not just, and you have that type of, of, of attitude. And you hear in the black conscious community, uh, we're, we're better because we got melan melanated skin. We're the children of the sun. White people can't handle the sun. Now mind you, white people live in the desert. Mind you, whether it's cold or it's hot, with it's rainy, you will find white people everywhere on this planet. So apparently it don't bother them that bad. The sun, direct sunlight, will kill anybody. I don't care how dark skinned you are. Direct sunlight will kill you. You have to get out of the sun. Now it's a fact because of melanated skin that the melanated person you can you can handle it a little bit better but nobody no animal no life except plants maybe plants can handle direct sunlight you will die you're better now mind you also the ones who say how 
the sun kills white people and all this stuff. You will see them in the summertime, not out in the sun. <laughs> they won't be out in the sun. They're going to be in their house in central air. They're going to be in their car with the air conditioning. Yeah, but I thought you said that the black people are the children of the sun. Why don't you have your children of the sun ass in the sun? You don't see that. See, it's all about emotion. And we don't think. You're not thinking about what we, we say. Whether you are white or whether you're black, there's always a negative and a positive in this reality. There's always a yin and yang. There's a good side and there's a bad side. It's good being tall, a tall person. But what if you get in a situation and the only person that can escape after a building has collapsed, somebody small that can go through the hole to go get help. So your so you're being tall doesn't help us in that situation. Everything has a good side and a bad side. <clears throat> you want to be a ruler just to do the same thing that the people and, and you talk and they sound like the same, do the same thing as the people that you complain about. You go through history, you go through books and you, you find stuff. Well see, look what black people did. And that's good to know these things. But then you come out of your mouth and you sound just like Adolf Hitler or Stalin or the Grand Wizard of the, of the KKK. Matter of fact, if it was not for white supremacy, there would be no black supremacy. There would be no black first. There would be no black one, two, three. There would not be no black nothing. All this blackity black Pan African, that stuff did not exist until white supremacy. It's all the offspring, it's all the consequence of white supremacy, racism. And now you have become a racist in the making because you're telling us if I come into power, I'm going to kill the white people, you're going to be an unjust ruler. And everything is going to be based upon the superiority of the black. So you're going to face sooner or later the same consequences as the white man or any other conqueror. Sooner or later, there's going to be rebellion. Like you are trying to rebel or call yourself want to be a rebel. Same thing is going to happen to you. Somebody's going to call you a devil and Satan and Lucifer. And you earned it because you are acting and you have a mindset like Lucifer and Satan. And a slave master and a conqueror. You become just like the ones you complain about. And that is something I cannot do. That is something I cannot suggest. That's something I don't advocate. It's not about loving the white man. It's about justice and being fair. The people that you want to hurt, most of them are dead. And you're too scary to mess with the ones that you actually need to mess with. Who are still alive right now. So why don't you shut your damn scary ass mouth. And just do what we can do. But they. They feed us emotion. And when we are emotional. We can't. We don't. We're not tripping on. What we hear and what we see. We just feel with this stuff.